Great to have you here on News Desk. Now, Chairman of Parliament's Communications Committee, Kennedy at Japan, says the ban on small scale mining will be lifted sometime next week. The Akufado administration in February 2017 imposed a six month ban at the time on all forms of small scale mining activities in a bid to clamp down on destructive activities of illegal miners. The ban, which was initially expected to be lifted by the end of October last year, was extended by another three months. You will recall the Small Scale Miners Association of Ghana has on many occasions impressed on government to lift the ban following complaints by members their source of livelihood has been cut off. A licensed vetting process of all small scale miners by the Inter-Ministerial Task Force on Mining started sometime last week and that was to inform government's decision to lift the ban as part of a deliberate roadmap. Speaking to Joy News a while ago, Chairman of the Communications Committee of Parliament, Kenile Japon, gave the biggest hint yet on when the ban will be lifted. Um, the government has taken the decision to lift the ban because earlier on, you know, when we started this ban, we told Guyanians that it's not going to be permanent, but we want to regulate it. And uh, there have been a series of meetings that have gone on, interventions, and now we realize we are ready to, you know, lift the ban. And now anybody who wants to do the small-scale mining has to register and get a license. Uh, about 25 acres, 500 Ghana cities. I don't think that is very, very expensive. Even the EPA, EPA license is about $2,500. Anybody who wants to do scale, uh, small scale mining should be able to pay that. Uh, some were of the opinion that even the 500 Ghana cities for 500, uh, 25 acres is too small. But we don't want a situation where uh, when you leave the band, you use financial to dip to discourage a lot of people. That is why we're being flexible. So I don't want to give you the precise, I know the specific date, but I don't want to take the win out of it. I want the president or Dr. from Pom Watin to come out and tell Ghanaians mm. about this Galamse. Okay. Uh, to be frank with you, the ban on Galamse, I still maintain it if and only if those who were supposed to monitor the activities of this galamse they would have been sincere and or honest to government or ghana mm. but i will not miss this the the soldiers who went the the operation vanguard they were so corrupt so corrupt so i don't know whom to trust again so are you confident that we have put the right structures in place not to see the problems for which we put the the, the ban in the first place you know to be honest with you, I don't trust any Guinean. Not, not even, even the myself. president? I don't trust anybody because the president will come out with all these. The people that are going to monitor, they will abuse their powers. Mm. They will connive with the, with the Galamse people and still do the wrong things. I remember I spoke to you, I think, about two months ago, and you had concerns, and you've just raised them about how the Operation Vanguard was doing their work. Yeah. Do you think it is the right time to lift the ban? Are you confident that everything on the ground is being done properly? Uh, you know, my philosophy is that whether it's right or not, so long as the Operation Vanguard did not help the government's vision, then you are better off lifting the ban. Because, one, why is it that two people are doing galamse, as we call it? One will go and offer money to the Operation Vanguard, and you'll be allowed to work. And if I am not able to pay to Operation Vanguard, they don't let me work. And you have evidence of that? Thousands and one. Why, well, even the Operation Vanguard themselves, they've sacrificed some of the soldiers. You remember one of them, they shot him. They themselves, a soldier shot a soldier because of that. So whether... Uh, we have proper policies in place or not. The failure of the Operation Vanguard and the enemies that they've created for the government, I think they have to lift it. But I can assure you that we've put in the, we put a lot of measures in place. The only problem, again, is those who are going to monitor. It's also my concern again. Mm. Because I don't trust, that's why I said I don't trust any guy here. Mm. That's, my, that's what I mean. Because uh, the very people that will be given the authority to go on monitor will also connive 
with these people to go and mine in the rivers. So finally, for you who is very interested in, in, in our mining, as it is now, and wants to see a better regulated mining sector, what do you suggest we do so that we don't come back to these issues over and over again? What, what I sincerely believe is that those who are going to monitor these small-scale miners, they should be sincere to the government. They should be sincere to themselves. They should be sincere to the nation. They should have one cardinal point, that is, they are serving the nation and not to go in a mass world. Because yesterday, a soldier came to me to tell me that I should help him go and join a team that Bisu is forming so that he can also make money. I said, wow, you have failed. I'm not going to do it because your motive of going to join that team that are going to monitor these small-scale miners is to make money. You see why I say I don't trust anybody. So my fear is with even the people that are going to monitor what these small-scale miners are doing. Mm -hmm. So it's a problem, and it's a canker. I don't know how we're going to solve it. But to be honest with you, if I'm a president, I don't care losing. I'll ban them. I'll arrest all these, uh, uh, what? Operation Vanga people, put them in the, what they call Garum and all those things. Make sure some of them you fire them. Because look, posterity, you see the diseases. When you go to Cape Coast Hospital, 18 year old, 19 year old, kidney problems. Look, the, the minerals going into this soil, water, and everything, fish, food that we eat, you will not experience it today. But in the, ne in the near future, you see the replication. Mm -hmm. And because, I, I'm surprised, people come to you lamenting that this galam say will cost us. Well, it's costing you today because you are in government. It will cost the whole country in the near future because we have failed as citizens, politicians, to do the right thing. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. You heard the chairman of Parliament's Communications Committee. We'll get a reaction from the Small Scale Miners Association later.